let's select another uh, patient from the Mr. Timothy library. Here is the case uh, after implantation of uh, aortic valve, TAVI valve. So I'm inserting the probe in zero degree view, going from uh, the upper part of the esophagus down, and you can see the bright echoes uh, corresponding to the stand of the uh, TAVI valve. And as soon as I uh, get closer to the uh, aortic valve itself, I have to change the angle of the plane to approximately 30 degrees to, to keep it uh, in short axis view. And now we can see the uh, stand very nicely. And of course, if I put the stand in the center of the uh, image, I have to adjust a bit the depth and also the, the angle. I can uh, use the explain mode to see the long axis of the uh, stand or I can increase the angle by 90 degrees so I'm going to use 130 degrees angle to see the long axis of the uh, of the valve. Uh, let's have a look if there is any uh, leakage uh, so here you can see that there is some leak uh, I can uh, manipulate the probe a little bit to see where the leak is located it's close to the anterior leaflet um, we can now switch to explain again and see what is the size of the leak in the short axis view. And you can see this is really minor leak near the calcium that was located there. And probably this is the reason why the valve is slightly leaking out of the stent, but there's no leak inside the stent. So we can say that this is a trace normal finding in a patient post uh, TAVI implantation. We can also switch to the 3D mode, change slightly the region of interest and now we can see uh, after adjusting of course the gain uh, of this imaging the stand inside aorta uh, from one side from the other side and also to understand better where the uh, leak is located, we can just uh, have a look from here and here see that there, there is a little leak uh, close to the mitral leaflet, which is visible on the left hand side. 